All right, so <clears throat> it's late at night. I came down here to the kitchen to get a snack. And I've been thinking about something that's bothering me. You might say, I have a bad feeling about this. And that is Star Wars and politics. You see, George Lucas was able to successfully, being an understatement, tell a series of stories that was loved by people in America all around the world. And as the centerpieces of his stories deal with issues related to politics and religion, perhaps two of the most divisive subjects in society, and yet, George Lucas was able to have a conversation about politics and spiritual ideas in a way that everyone um, embraced and loved. This is not going to be um, a, a deep dissection here, but I just want to point out that in A New Hope, in, in The Empire Strikes Back, in Return of the Jedi. The negative aspects of a government were couched in terms of the empire, right? A tyrannical, overreaching, overpowerful, um, bureaucratic, um, you know, authoritarian um, sort of government that just sought to continue uh, seeking its own um, growth and, um, and power. Now, um, behind this tyrannical government were some spiritual forces at work pulling the strings. And those spiritual forces, those dark forces behind this tyrannical government were um, connected to ideas like um, unbridled passion, um, unbridled uh, greed, unbridled lust for power, um, a totalitarian control over the wills and minds of, of um, people. And those two things were connected. Those ideas were connected. On the other side of the coin, you have a rebellion against this tyrannical government and their um, political ideas revolve around individual liberty, freedom, um, expressed in, in a political form of as a republic. And the spiritual forces of good or light that um, were working on that side um, were uh, centered around the principles of, of um, loyalty, of honor, of sacrifice, of devotion. These ideals were the spiritual principles that were, um, you know, helping the rebellion onto ultimate um, victory and success in the galaxy. <clears throat> so I wanna draw a contrast here between the kind of conversation about politics and religion that George Lucas was having um, with America and the conversation about politics and religion that Ryan Johnson is having with America through the same franchise. And you see um, radically different results. Ryan Johnson's film um, exchanges these, you know, principles of, of Star Wars storytelling that George had latched onto, and and frankly, I think that um, resonated with audiences all over the world. Exchange those principles 
to focus in on, I guess what we would call social justice issues. And I don't think anyone's going to, to debate that those were not front and center in the film. And we all saw the same movie. But you see the radically different result of this kind of storytelling that Ryan Johnson is doing, and which is basically resulting in something that feels like a civil war in the Star Wars fandom camp. Um, there is a lot of um, animosity and negativity and division and backlash. Um, I saw some things on a, in an article about, you know, um, somebody making a version of the film that was, you know, editing out all of uh, the female roles. And then, of course, the, the director gets online and starts, you know, responding to these things. Look, there's, um, there's something really rotten in Denmark right now. Um, I really hope that the leadership at Disney is observing the same thing that I'm observing here. And that is that in, in one movie, um, Ryan Johnson has managed to create a film so divisive um, that it is, it is tearing um, the, the fan base apart. Um, people are very divided um, about this film, and, and I think um, in many cases, understandably so. So, what do we have here moving forward? It appears that Disney is giving Ryan Johnson um, a series of projects to work on. This is the result of one film that he's done. I, I can only anticipate that there's going to be more of this sort of um, thing being served up. Um, I don't think that this bodes well for the franchise. Because, like I said, George Lucas was able to have a conversation about politics and religion that was um, a unifying message because the the basics were so, uh, or the principles were so reasoned um, that, and so simple, um, and um, resonated with people's um, actual experiences with, um, with history that, that everyone could get behind George's ideas in these films. But in Ryan Johnson's version, um, we see something very different. I, I, I just want to say here that Ryan Johnson isn't the only other director of a Star Wars movie. You don't see, you don't see this, um, any of this stuff, not only through George's original series or through the prequels, you don't see any of this kind of response um, to J.J. Abrams' um, Star Wars um, movie, The Force Awakens. You see it in Ryan Johnson's The Last Jedi. And my concern here is that um, the kind of issues and the way that they're being used in these films, in my opinion, in an unhealthy way, um, are seeds of division um, and, and I, I think that this is a, a bad omen um, for the franchise. Um, so long as, as someone like a Ryan Johnson is allowed to speak through um, these films.